Um, I had it down as one of my notes as Gollum, what the fuck though, because that guy was awful. Okay, hi guys. So it's 9 o'clock um, and I just finished watching Death Watch. So 9am Australian time, Saturday morning. Uh, so Death Watch is recommended by Random Ross. And thank you so much because it's actually, I thought it was a really enjoyable movie. So I've written down when I first started watching it, I thought it was very intriguing. It had English humour, which I like because I'm Australian. Um, I also thought I knew what was going on in the first three minutes, which I was right. And let me know if this is correct because I'm sure some of you would have seen this. Hopefully some of you guys are watching along with me. Uh, but they were stuck in limbo. And because he did a good deed, um, what's his name? I want to say Billy Elliot. <laughs> Because Billy Elliot did a good deed, um, he was able to go to heaven while the rest was stuck in limbo or hell, either or. Um, I thought it was it was a really good movie, though the action parts did have me lost, but that is because I'm not an action fan. Uh, I think that it just gets a bit blurry in between and you just like, you just know what's going to happen at the end, so the middle didn't matter as much. I did think it was an interesting concept though, and I thought that the guy, <laughs> I've written down Gollum guy, it is the guy who played Gollum, right? Let's double check that. Haha, -ha, success. It was the same guy who played uh, Gollum Smeagol in Lord of the Rings. So um, I had it down as one of my notes as Gollum, what the fuck though, because that guy was awful. And I mean, he was a love to hate kind of character. You had to have someone in there, but he was just brutal. Like he was insane and yeah, it's not really a believable character when someone is that much of a villain. So I'm going to give Death Watch a 3 out of 5. I thought it was really great production value. I really like when a whole movie takes place in one set or one room, um, which was this in like the little dugout. So I thought that was really cool um, and I thought the acting was great. Obviously it has a really good cast. I thought it was a good storyline, um, maybe because I'm not really into action movies, especially war movies. If anyone is into war movies, definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I have got uh, an insane amount of comments, thumbs up, um, views, so I really appreciate that. I didn't know if this was going to be too much and I was going to be flooding your inboxes. Bear with me. Um, I wasn't going to make a second channel just to do these vlogs. I've put up my day two and I've been reading all your comments all morning. Uh, yeah, so I'm sure Random Ross is really excited for this. Also, Random Ross actually has his own channel and he has a lot of content. So I'm sure he'll comment somewhere down below or I'll leave a link uh, and go check him out because he really puts a lot of effort into his videos. And although he um, has some very strange ideas like Stabby the Clown, uh, I think you guys might get a kick out of it. So check it out if you have some time. Um, also, yeah, thank you guys for all your nice comments. So I'm just reading them, going through them again now. Um, yeah, you guys are really cool, and I love reading what you guys are watching. Um, some of you guys aren't watching the same films as me, but it's still really cool um, to check out what films you're watching. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, stay spooky. I'm going to go get drunk because it's grand final day here. Yeah. Um, and it is 9 a.m., so that's telling on my Australian heritage, hey? Okay. I'll see you guys later. Stay spooky. Bye. But I like when it's like... Wow, it's like the old Batman. I love that. Uh, also, I like the Crimson Ghost as a villain. I think that he's very cool. I don't think he would, as, as I said before, translate well into modern times. I don't think that you would see him running around with ghost face anytime soon.